Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here. Thanks for joining me today for a Xander Bogarts themed episode here on the channel. You can tell by the uh, backdrop that I have out there of a few uh, different flavors of Xander's Tops rookie card that we're going to get into some Xander cardboard today. The uh, stack that you see in front of you here, these are all from Com C, uh, from my Com C kind of to be posted monster box with my pickups that I haven't kind of sorted into my collection yet. And did something a little different this time. I usually go in and just pick cards at random uh, from that box to do Com C rummage videos. Um, but today I purposely searched out Xander Bogart's cards from my Com C to be processed box. And uh, just going to go over 20 different Bogarts pickups today. Um, these were picked up over the course of the last few years, not all necessarily recently, uh, but are just now getting processed into my collection and added to uh, my spreadsheet where I keep track of my Bogarts PC. And I believe the 20 cards that we're looking at today are going to put me right around the 300 unique Xander Bogarts cards uh, mark. So let's just get into it here. Uh, some of these are going to be cooler than others. This one's a little bit weird. This is a uh, 70th anniversary Bowman Chrome insert. And basically what they were doing here, I think, was kind of hearkening back to those early 90s Bowman cards where it featured the players in their street clothes. Um, those were more interesting to me because they had those god-awful early 90s sweaters and they look like uh, class photo type shots. But um, this one was cheap. It was like 40 cents and it will help uh, fill out the Z folio. And uh, that's the other reason I grabbed all these Xanders. I'm getting closer and closer to having a full uh, Z folio um, chock full of Xander cards. And obviously some of the more valuable cards that I have, like these that are up in the background, they just stay in a one touch. Um, a lot of the cards that we're looking at today will go into a Z folio that I have that is entirely Xander Bogarts. So here's one from Topps Chrome. This is a second year card and it's an insert Chrome commencements. Um, interestingly enough, Bogarts, you know, being a shortstop and not exactly lighting the world on fire offensively his first year or so, he didn't make it into a lot of releases. Um, so even though his rookie card came in 2014, Topps Chrome, he was actually skipped outright in 2015 and 2016, Topps Chrome. So this is the only, this insert is kind of the only second year 2015 Topps Chrome Bogarts card that's out there. Uh, would have rather have had the base card and all the wonderful parallels that go along with it, but it is what it is. Uh, next up, we've got a set that I believe has gone digital now, um, but was a paper set or a normal, you know, pack issued set the first couple years that it existed, and that is Topps Bunt. And I have two flavors here of Xander's 2017 Bunt card. Got this blue, which is not numbered or anything. I think this might have been like a retail exclusive. This was a very low-end set, but I do enjoy the parallels. And then to go along with that, this one's kind of cool. Have the gold, which is numbered out of 50, as is so often the case for gold cards. Uh, so a pair of Bogart's Bunt cards there. Love the color. Uh, if you couldn't tell by the background, I'm a total sucker for various colored parallels uh, that Topps gives us in many of their products. And that's a good way to flush out a player PC like this. Um, this is an average everyday base card from 2018 Topps Heritage, but I needed it, and it is a short print. Xander seems to have been in the short print or cards 400 and above portion of the Heritage checklist more often than he's not. Uh, I'm not sure why that is, but a lot of his Heritage cards are SP, so happy to have that one. Um, here's another one where I, you know, I could go down the rabbit hole, but I think I have just one here to show today. Uh, this is from Topps Tech or High Tech. These are all acetate cards. A little tough to make out on this one, but uh, they're acetate with foil in the background. And this one almost looks like a camo pattern or something like that. There are tons of different uh, patterns on these. Uh, those of you that are player or team collectors and get into Topps Tech uh, know that there seem to be an unending number of different backgrounds released every year. So I'll have to do a little research when I uh, stop this recording to find out exactly which one this is uh, for cataloging purposes. Here's an unlicensed insert, but a beautifully shiny one. This is an Elite Dominator from Donruss. And look at the way this catches the light. There's like a disco ball effect going on here. I love these like glowing orbs um, that just kind of dance across the card. 
Uh, I will not shy away from unlicensed stuff in some cases. I do prefer licensed cards, uh, but the unlicensed stuff is sometimes a nice way to get player collection stuff for pretty cheap coin. And this one, if you couldn't tell, is serial numbered out of 999 in the lower right there. So nice uh, Don Russ card there from Panini. Uh, next up, we've got a Topps Heritage Minor League issue from 2013, which is, of course, based off of the 1964 Topps baseball design. And this card features uh, Xander with the Portland Sea Dogs, who are the double A franchise for the Boston Red Sox. Uh, showed a rarer black border parallel version of this in a previous video, but this is just the base to go along with it for the Z Folio. Um, here's a pre-rookie card out of Bowman Chrome. They would do these um, various minis back in the day in Bowman Chrome, and this is a Ryzen Through the Ranks. Um, you can see it along the bottom here is the name of the insert set. And these are similar in size to like, not necessarily like an Allen and Ginter Mini or a T206, um, but more like a 75 Tops Mini, for those of you that are into vintage, um, or even the modern Tops Mini online release. Uh, same size cardstock here, but of course shiny. And this one was picked up primarily because it's numbered the 250. And being from 2013 is a pre-rookie card of the X-Man. Uh, a couple of Bowman parallels now. These are just the Bowman paper. Um, this is the 2015 release, so second year Bogart's Bowman, and it's a silver parallel, which is numbered out of 499, clearly, in the upper left there. So again, just flushing out the color here for the Z Folio. Uh, here's one from the following year, 2016, and this is the green, of course. And I believe these are numbered to 99, yep. Copy 77 of 99 on the back of this one. So a lot of nice... Um, Cheaper stuff, but nice serial numbered Xander here to flush out the collection. Um, this is one from a Black Friday promotion by Panini. Um, technically, I guess this is a rookie card. It does have the rookie card logo on it, and it did come out in the year 2014, his rookie year, um, but was issued uh, you know, by Panini as part of a Black Friday promotion. So I think you would get packs of this stuff at participating hobby shops if you bought or made purchases on uh, Black Friday. So uh, not a card that you see often of Xander. It's not very aesthetically pleasing. It is numbered out of 499, so can't go wrong with a rookie card numbered below 500 if you're a player collector. So soak that one up. And obviously that was not an expensive pickup. None of the cards in today's video were very expensive. This is all kind of about accumulation and driving that card count up. Uh, here's another tech. And you can see the one that we looked at previously. This is just an example of how many different patterns there are, like I was talking about. But the first one we saw has more like a camo background. This one has a kind of a weird diagonal line pattern in the background. So, I mean, there are dozens and dozens of these. So I'll probably try to fill a whole page in the, the Z Folio with just different tech cards. So there's two more towards that pursuit. Um, next up, this is a card that I love and I've been kind of talking about for years now amongst my collecting friends. It's a rookie year card. I don't think it's considered a rookie. It doesn't have the rookie card logo because it was an insert, um, but it did come out in 2014 and they did these. It's just gorgeous. So it's got like this speckled foil action going on and it's like a throwback to uh, the late 80s and early 90s Bowman products, but with that great modern foil uh, love the simplicity of the design and the just crazy shine on this. And what's cool about this is for a rookie year Bogarts, these are dirt cheap. I mean, you can still get these. I haven't looked in a while, so I could be wrong. Uh, but last I checked, you could scoop these up on ComC for like two bucks or less. Um, so I've, I've probably picked up 10 copies of this card over the years. In fact, in the Xander Z Folio, which I am working towards filling up and will show off once it's full, I think I have an entire nine pocket page uh, full of just this card, which is pretty fantastic. Uh, but there's another copy there. I, at one point, I was just kind of grabbing any of those that were available for a buck fifty or less. Um, here's a pretty cool Stadium Club uh, parallel. This is out of 2017 Stadium Club, one of my favorite sets. And it is, I think, and I get confused on these. Um, Tops has released a number of different parallels in Stadium Club over the years. Um, there are sepias or sepias, 
uh, black and white, orange. I think this is like a black and white or orange parallel, not a sepia, which is, I think, a little bit rare. Um, so this is kind of a sneaky good uh, Bogarts card out of uh, 2017 Stadium Club. And that's, of course, a set that I just love year in and year out for the fantastic photography. And uh, this one is no exception. So nice to get a rarer parallel of uh, Xander's 2017 Stadium Club release there. And then the last few of these, I think the last five cards that I have to show today are all different variations on his 2019 Topps flagship card. And here's the first as we get into talking about these. Um, the reason I picked up so many of these is that I am trying to complete an entire two-page layout of 18 cards in the Z Folio. That's all different versions of this same 2019 Topps Bogarts. This is, of course, uh, this one here from the Holiday release. And it might be hard to make out on camera, but this is like the sparkle foil or like metal foil version of the holiday card. There's a plain and a and a foil, and this is the foil. Um, continuing on, filling out those couple of pages. This is a classic one here. Can't go wrong with this year in and year out. Tops Gold. Uh, do have, I believe, a complete run of Xander's Tops Gold from his 2014 rookie, which you see uh, front and center in the back here, uh, all the way through and including uh, the 2022 release that just came out. Uh, my buddy Brian over at Walkenbach pulled a Bogart's Gold out of his jumbo box and sent that my way. So this 2019 is uh, one link in the chain of uh, Bogart's Tops Gold. So pretty cool one there. Um, this is a, a, the next one here, a parallel that I'm a big fan of year in and year out. I think I've spoken about these for other players before, but Tops Opening Day, although it's a lower end set, these foil parallels, uh, which have like a rainbow foil technology are just amazing. Um, I absolutely love these. They are the highlight of opening day every year, if you ask me. Uh, I think there's blue blue ones that are done every year, and then in recent years they've included uh, red, uh, there's purple, a few different shades that you can get of your uh, player of choice, but happy to get the red Xander from 2019, which of course looks amazing for a Red Sox card. Love the shine on that one, and uh, cool to bring some shine to that 2019 uh, display in the Z Folio. Uh, just two more to go here and we'll wrap it up. And they're both uh, those 2019 images. This is a Walgreens exclusive yellow parallel. So pretty cool. I've got the rookie card yellow up in the uh, background here all the way to the right. And then we've got the 2019 yellow to accompany that one. So nice one there. And then the final one, uh, one that I'm really pumped about from the Topps Chrome release, because again, it contains the same image. So I'm really just after this image, whether it's flagship, Chrome or opening day, uh, whatever the case may be. In this case, it is Topps Chrome, and this is the Green Wave Refractor, which looks just amazing. Uh, really, really nice, kind of complements the red in the Red Sox colors nicely, and uh, is somewhat scarce being numbered out of 99. So yet another serial numbered uh, Xander there to go along with all of the other ones that we saw earlier in today's video. And uh, that's going to be a wrap. So there you have it. 20 new Xander cards to kind of flush out the collection. I believe this takes me up to 300 unique Xanders and counting. Uh, we'll see what happens. I think there's a very likely chance that he'll sign elsewhere after the offseason and maybe even be traded at the trade deadline if the Red Sox are out of it and feeling like they don't have a good chance of re-signing him in the offseason. So Xander's days in a Red Sox uniform could be numbered, but um, treading forward with collecting these anyway. Uh, I'll continue to collect his Red Sox era cards, uh, regardless of what happens, and uh, happy to add these 20 to that uh, ever-growing effort. So thank you so much for stopping by, checking out uh, 15 minutes worth of bogey cardboard today. Really appreciate you uh, spending a few minutes of your valuable time here on the channel. And as always, I will be back in the very near future with some more sports card content. Until then, take care.